Uh, this is Elvis coming back to you from RoofTuneUp.ca. Uh, we're going to do a little bit of uh, roof safety on the top. What we're going to be talking about is two ways how to tie onto the roof safely. So you guys at home, when you try to clean your roof troughs or come up here to do something foolish you shouldn't be up here doing, at least you know how to tie off and where to. Okay, You can get one of these brackets at Home Depot or something similar to this. What you'll need for this is a hammer and a couple spikes. What you'll need to do is just come across the top here until you find some spikes. Actually, there's studs in the roof. It looks like we've got two right there. We're going to put our bracket in place. You can feel how hard the nails go in there. That's how you know you fit the spike. The stud, rather. Because what we're actually going to do up here is we're going to clean the east up here and as you can see on this pitch this is a 812 slope either we can spend all day cleaning the east troughs from around the roof have to climb in the neighbor's yards fooling around like that or we come up here get safe grab the rope go down to the edges and clean them out bada boom bada bing there's the bracket 100 percent just like that okay that's one way now the second way for you guys, you got the rope but you don't have the bracket. Just come over to one of the vents in the roof. There's going to be a couple nails holding it in. Usually not too many because these guys don't care enough, although that's, that's too easy. We're just going to look in here, grab this 2x4. Just like that, 100% safe. Now we can go all the way down to the ends, anywhere on the roof, safely. I'm just gonna have a quick check down here. Give me a couple seconds here. Shop's actually pretty good over there. It's not too bad there either pretty good all right so there you guys have it um, actually I'll just go through this really quickly with you the on install the crowbar is the key this is actually a big issue here um, a lot of guys tend to get up here and really crank on these nails it could lead to you falling off the roof and I'm not kidding you, you get up here and do it the wrong way you'll see exactly what I mean if you just hit the crowbar in here and hold one end actually use your arm to get them out as opposed to just getting up here and uh, and doing one of these you're just pushing all your weight through the wrong way so for you homeowners out there very safely for you to remove those the right way Good. at least these nails are in here good shouldn't be able to get right underneath them uh, you can really feel those coming out okay now you're left with some holes like I had shown you before if you guys had clued in on the uh, on the little bit of ladder safety that we went through we're gonna use our roofing nails to fill the holes guys get the point and obviously just for fun we will be caulking these again and it's actually not for fun there's actually a purpose for it it actually keeps the nails down on the shingle doesn't allow the shingles to pop up which I'll just take you down here really quickly and I'm going to show you exactly what I'm referring to cameraman can you just come down here for me please this one had just a wee bit of caulking on it, but really not enough. Uh, usually what the caulking will do is allow that to stay in place. I mean, if you've got the caulking up here, be plentiful with it. What's the sense, right? 
and that's fine, okay? And uh, so obviously this is a no-brainer here. Once you're done, actually I'm gonna leave this hooked up because we're uh, gonna use them to clean out these shrubs that do have a little bit of debris in them. Obviously once I'm done, I very simply just untie my rope, re-nail the vent, caulk the holes. That's Roof Safety 101 with Elvis from RoofTuneUp.ca. See you next time.